So many times I thought I'd never see another sunrise. And times. I'd hoped I'd never see one again. I remember hitchhiking down the side of the highway at night with a garbage bag of clothes. And my mum looking at me as the truck pulled up, telling me we will go into a new and better place. Then came a childhood of fears. Living in rock caves, under jetties and skate ramps, alone from the age of six. Because underneath my bed couldn't protect me. Not just from the physical abuse, but the sounds of deadening thuds from a fist, terrifying screams, and the smell of blood. Making me shake and scream so hard, but nothing comes out. So you can build yourself up physically strong, and even train to become a prize fighter. Building an armour and weapons so no one can hurt you or who you care about again. But the pain remains. I want to be someone my boys can rely on. To be proud to say, that's my dad. So it was time to break the cycle, to put everything and everyone aside and strip it back to basics and feel the ocean again. So I could find my peace and rebuild. My focus shifted outwards the happier I got and my goal becomes stronger the harder I trained. Knowing it wasn't me I would be letting down but those who needed, relied and supported me. Stripping negative people and thoughts, I found myself no longer thinking, am I gonna make it through the day? But instead, so excited about today, tomorrow, and what's next. I have for the first time found my peaceful mind. I feel I have something special to share with so many who live or have lived as I did. And to help share the message that the abuse you cause today can last a lifetime. So I've set myself a test and unknown if it's possible or not, but I have the power and will to give it all. I'll be breaking two world records in the hope that my voice will be heard to save the children of our future. So let's do this.